This is my third trip to the region in uh, just over two months. This is one I had uh, a chance to uh, come to Singapore deliberately uh, to again understand the region better and then a chance to relay assurances uh, that the U.S. is still very much committed to the region. I got to meet the uh, foreign minister, defense minister, and spent a very interesting and informative 45 minutes with the prime minister. The interests of the U.S. here are both security and economic. Uh, economic interests are impossible to ignore. Quarter trillion dollars of investment here. 4,500 U.S. companies do business here and use Singapore as a launching pad for uh, other activity in the region. Our U.S. firms are great diplomats. Economic relationships don't work if they're not truly uh, balanced and mutually beneficial. Unlike other relationships, which require considerable negotiation and reassurance, the economic and trade relationships are the premise is both sides have to win relatively equally. So the fact that there's so much business here tells you a lot about the environment and about the, the positive nature of the relationship. Singapore has been a very reliable and strong partner in the, the security realm. There are Singapore forces in the U.S. who train uh, very actively there and uh, they mesh with the U.S. Uh, forces quite well. Given the changes in the region we've seen with South China Sea, uh, militarization and other things, Singapore has been a steady and a very key component of the U.S. military posture in the region. This is not my first trip to Singapore. I've been here a number of times in my previous career uh, as an Air Force pilot and an Air Force senior officer. Uh, I got to fly the Asian Aerospace Show uh, in the late 90s, got to put on a display here, and we would transit through Singapore en route to other parts of the world. Again, Singapore has been very generous uh, in supporting U.S. forces, uh, both in the region and as they transit. 